balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. Bringing the rebel mages into the ranks of your army was a brilliant move. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. Exactly what would be required to get that Imperial support? I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, Gaspard. Finding him is my priority. Are you serious? That is a grave allegation, my friend. A foreign power meddling now? Of all times, I have no doubt this Tevinta is hiding within the ranks of the Elven delegation. They're up to something. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. If they're siding with the enemy, I'll put an end to it. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Cousin. My dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Céline. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauties. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Céline is from her side. Empress Céline is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. You think she's controlling the minds of the court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me.
My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. Let me guess. All she wants in return is for me to help her defeat the Duke. Oh, this is not meant as a bargain by any means, Inquisitor. The support of the Empress is not conditional. It will be yours once the negotiations are concluded. The Empress is the most skilled diplomat in Thedas. Gaspar is hopelessly out of his depth. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Lavellan, slumming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people, for once. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. He can try, but I'll stop him. I wish you luck. Better than luck? I wish you success. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Inquisitor Lavellan, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlé, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? My advisors keep me informed. One would hope the Inquisition's leaders had a proper understanding of politics. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I'm here to make sure it doesn't. Perhaps the Maker truly has sent you to us. 
The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. How should I support Briala? I assume she can't be Empress. She can't. She can, however, be the power behind the throne, with Gaspard. True. She could never control Selene, not with their history. So Selene dies and Gaspard takes the throne. Briala would need a way to control him, some kind of leverage. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. <laughs> 